Hello YouTube, this will be a live recording of a battle between me as the Swabby and uh, I don't remember the name of my opponent, but uh, my opponent is Egypt. So this should be a tough battle because I've chosen a fairly rushy build without skirmishers. Uh, it's raining so I won't be able to use any flames on his elephants. And of course Egypt can, anything Swabby can do, Egypt can do a lot better. Now I brought with me Six Swordmasters, which I'm going to put up front. Uh, then I've got some Berserkers here, which I want to flank with here, together with Vodana Spears and a Noble Rider to protect them from cavalry. I'm putting a cavalry unit on each flank here. And some. Let's see, I had two Vodana Spears. There, another unit of Vodana Spears, which I'm just going to put here. And my general unit in the center. And we are ready. Ready. Alright, now, uh, going up against Egypt as Swebi is something I dread for the reason stated that basically anything that Swebi can bring Egypt can counter very very easily so uh, as of as of right now uh, Swebi isn't one of the factions that I like to bring against Egypt because they can be so easily outclassed but we'll see how this goes Ready? Now if I could uh, take on his... If he spreads out then I can take out one flank. For example, I'll take out his cavalry. That would be very nice if I can avoid fighting, for example, Galatians or Hellenic Royal Guard for as long as possible. But that will be difficult. I have a fairly small army. And... Uh, if he brings a standard uh, Egyptian build, I'll probably see something like six Galatians. We'll see here. So a little speech from my general there. And let's see what he has over here. Now some African war elephants, of course. Um, uh, as his general unit. Now, since it's raining, I don't think I'll be w I would be able to use flaming arrows even though I have them. But I'm going to move up here and get the spears in here. So is he going to? It looks like he is going to wait there. Galatians, of course. Uh, my ace against those will be the Berserkers. So I have some Vodanas and three units of Berserkers moving up here. Now if I could engage him in the forest here, that would be awesome. Since my infantry love to fight in the forest and his elephants and potential cab don't. Um, he's got Nubian Spearmen, Thuria Spears. Okay, so this segment here I should be able to just blast away with my uh, with my guys. So I'm actually just going to move in here. Uh, this might be a bit premature, but I want to put the pressure on my opponent here. So of course he might might have an ambush in wait, so I'm going to use them to scout here. But I'm fairly confident that I can push him off the hill here and do some damage. So it doesn't look, look like he's hiding a lot. He went fairly infantry heavy. Now I'm going to send my berserkers in against the Wodenas. And there we go, he is hiding a lot of cavalry here. I'm actually just going to move straight in and try to engage their charge 
sending the warden us in to deal with them here, sending my sending my berserkers in to deal with them here. And now this will be uphill charges, so not the best of uh, situations, but anyway, I'm going to need to get stuck in pretty fast. So my berserkers should do well here and here, and my Wodanas should do well here. Just going for it rear charge there and now that these are in combat I'm activating headhunt and trying to get a flanking attack here headhunt alright now I didn't get in I didn't get in uh, very clean Charges there, so I'm not going to activate Frenzy. My Woden is Spears, this is a bit of a misclick here because they are supposed to go down here and help. And there I managed to surround him pretty nicely, so this is actually going my way. Uh, so I'm, I wonder how many Galatians he actually had here. I can't remember. Now he's, he's not going to be able to use his cavalry very effectively here since it's going to blob up and not be very effective in that situation. My entire force is engaged quite nicely. The Warden of Spears are moving in, they should be able to deal with anything he has here. My Noble Riders are moving in and it looks like this battle is going very well. I really can't see me losing this battle now. His elephants are still alive. But uh, my Wodenas are moving in and killing them fairly quickly. So this battle went well, I believe, because I was able to dictate the pace of the battle. Pretty much. The Berserkers helped a lot with the morale effect over here, where he didn't have his general. And uh, I was able to stop... Uh, the, the most important thing, I think, was being able to stop his uh, cavalry from playing any major part. He wanted to ambush them here but I found them and I managed to stop a lot of cavalry with just one unit of cavalry and I was able to support them with my infantry. So this was a pretty cool experience being able to do this well against Egypt. So it was a decisive uh, victory. I didn't have the time to GG my opponent but uh, GG. And so as you can see it was very decisive. I only lost 286 men whereas Egypt lost uh, 1164 and I think the main he, he went for uh, he had four Galatian Royal Guard and they didn't do well at all as you can see my Swordmasters outclassed them heavily here but that was just mainly due to bad positioning he was clumped up on the hill there and he allowed me to um, come around with both infantry and cavalry which, which obviously didn't go too well the Berserkers um, they got quite a <laughs> they didn't get quite a few kills they got a whole lot of kills for the number of men they are in their units. The Warden of Spears did extremely well, so I'm fairly happy with this build, uh, using the using uh, single units of cavalry to stop his bigger lumps of cavalry, and then just basically uh, denying him the ability to use his entire army together. Now, I really feel that units like Thurio Spears and Nubian Spearmen against uh, factions that don't have formation attack, they are a waste against factions with formation attack they can at least the Nubian Spearmen can do fairly well but I, I think that as Egypt you have uh, better options now if this was me playing as Egypt I would have I would have of course went for six Galatian Royal Guard and on this map I would have probably went for two elephants and a lighter core of cavalry uh, more skirmishers but uh, thanks for watching and see you again